What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ascalon. It's November, and that means it is time to unbox another box from Video Games Monthly. This is my fifth box, number five. <laughs> I'm so excited to open it up. I can't believe that this is my fifth box. It seems like it was yesterday I was opening that first box and just being so excited to find out what's inside. So let's go ahead and dive into this video so we can find out what's inside of box number five. Let's go. All right, first and foremost, for those of you who don't know what Video Games Monthly is, Video Games Monthly is a monthly subscription service where you can receive three, four, five, or 10 games a month delivered to your doorstep. In each one of those boxes, you also have the opportunity to receive a one-up card, which guarantees an extra game in your box. So I currently have the four games a month subscription, thinking about eventually going to the five games a month. But in my first three boxes, I received a one-up card, so I got a fifth game. And then last month was the first month that I did not get a one-up card, but that's okay. I expected that to happen eventually. So what I did, because I've been really wanting to receive some retro games from Video Games Monthly, this month I unchecked PlayStation 4 for my list of game consoles. So I'm hoping to maybe receive some Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or Sega Genesis games in this box. I've received a couple of Super Famicom games so far. I would really love to start building a retro collection. And so I'm hoping for a few older games in this box. But let's get into the box, shall we? It was a little thick this month, so that might mean a one-up card. All right, let's go ahead and tear into it. See here. As always with these unboxing videos, I have not seen the contents inside, so you get to see my natural reaction to what I receive. So the first thing we got here, looks like some sort of advertisement for premium edition games. Well, I don't know if that's a subscription service. Um, like they're pushing Nintendo Switch games on here, but I'll have to check out premium edition and see what this is. It says ready for pre-order on there too. So little card right there. All right, we got some other cards and stuff on top. So let's see what this one is. Oh, a one-up card. I almost looked at the box when I looked down. Just did. I got a glance. I was like, Ooh. but we got a one-up card. That means we're going to get an extra game in this box. So we're going to have five. Nice. All right. And then we got the video games monthly card where you can win three games. If you post your box to social media, I gotta start doing that. I keep kind of forgetting to do that, but you can win three games if you do that. All right, we also got, ooh, like some Mario and I guess that's Princess Peach uh, stickers here. That's really cool. All right, so in addition to the games, you get some bonus goodies each month. So that's really cool. Thank you, Video Games Monthly. I'm trying to put these things on my computer desk without looking down at my box. All right, we got bubble wrap, of course. So pop a little bit of that. That's a uh, very therapeutic. All right, let's see what we got here. I feel something that's kind of retro -y. All right, and then the other games, I uh, feel like I might have some Xbox 360 or some Xbox One games, so we may not have gotten as many retro games as I would like, but I think this first one is, I can feel it, and I can already tell what it is, so let's go ahead and pull it out. It's a Super Famicom game, I think, or Super Nintendo, one, two, three, bam. What is that? Sango Kushi 4. <laughs> they put a little note on there because I cannot read Japanese, obviously. So I've never heard of this. We got another Super Famicom game. We're racking those up. That's number three. So let's dive into this one and see what it's all about. Sango Kushi 4 is also known as Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4 Wall of Fire. It is the fourth game of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms series. And it's a turn-based strategy game that's also based on a historical novel called Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I had no idea what to expect from this game going into it. I had never heard of this game before, but I was excited to receive another Super Famicom game to add to my collection. I had my fingers crossed also when I fired up my Retron 3 because the last Super Famicom game that I received will not play on this console. But lo and behold, this one does. The music in this game kind of reminded me of Final Fantasy Online. <laughs> One thing that's kind of frustrating about having Super Famicom games is the inability to read Japanese. And so, like, I had no clue what I was doing in this game. I just kept pressing buttons. And so finally, you know, just frustrated, I kind of gave up and eventually just decided 
Let's go and see if we can find an English playthrough on YouTube. So I found some footage of gameplay on IGN's YouTube channel. And this definitely seems like a game that I would not be interested in, even if I could understand the Japanese. <laughs> it seems like one of those strategy-based games, which I am not a fan of. I know some of you enjoy it, and that's cool. But I do not like games like that, where you kind of move like groups of people, try to conquer other territories and different things like that. But will I keep this game? I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, I just I can't understand it because I can't read the Japanese like at least like the game uh, pop for mail It's kind of easy for me to follow along for the most part even though I couldn't read the Japanese This one you gotta be able to read and understand Japanese in order to be able to play it And like I said, this game's just not my cup of tea. All right now these other four games seem to be in boxes that are like PlayStation and Xbox um, since I unchecked PlayStation 4, I'm assuming these are Xbox games, but I don't know. We could have some older games. I've been receiving a lot of Xbox One games, so maybe we might get some Xbox 360 games in this as well. So the first game on top here, which is going to go in order, is Fallout 4. That is cool because I received Fallout 76 last unboxing video. And I've been itching to try this one out. I've played Fallout 3. And so now I got Fallout 4. I really think Video Games Monthly be checking out my videos. And then they be hooking me up <laughs> with what I want next. So let's dive into this one and check this one out. This is really cool. Let's see what it's all about. Fallout 4 is an action role playing game from Bethesda Game Studios. Of course, you guys know that Bethesda worked on the other Fallouts, of course. Like Fallout 3, which I've played if you... Saw one of my previous unboxing videos, you saw that I received Fallout 76, and so I talked a lot about how I've played Fallout 3, and I really enjoyed it, so I was looking forward to playing Fallout 76, as well as Fallout 4, and then Bethesda also worked on the Elder Scrolls series, and so I've played Skyrim a lot, I've tried some of the other Elder Scrolls games as well. I was really excited about this game because it's a sequel to Fallout 3, in a way. Um, it takes place 10 years after Fallout 3. And it's set in Boston, so just like how Fallout 3 was set in Washington, D.C., and you get some of the landmarks of D.C., in Fallout 4, you get some of the landmarks of Boston, like Bunker Hill. You play as the sole survivor character who emerges from Vault 111. And of course, this is open world, so you get to explore freely. This game is interesting because you get to venture out into the world to search for your missing child. And this game is also the first game in the series to feature full voice acting for the protagonist. So that's really cool. They, they killed her. Just like other Bethesda games, you can switch back and forth between first person and third person view. This game is interesting. It seems to take place before people went into the vault. Yeah, this is cool because all the other games open after you're already in the vault and you emerge into the new world. I like that this takes place at least at the start beforehand. I really like this opening. Opening to this game is very intriguing. I'm excited to play more of this. Like, I think this is gonna be my favorite game in this box. All right, that brings us to our third game here. Now, this case feels like an Xbox One. The other two cases are bigger, so I might finally have received some Xbox 360 games. So that'll be really cool. But first, game number three is... Borderlands 3. Okay, I've played one and two. I have yet to play three. So this is cool. So my sister Shannon, if you're watching, we need to get on this one together. Oh man, I know I'm gonna enjoy this because I love the Borderlands games. Just never got around to playing this one. My sister and I beat the first one and then we've played Borderlands 2 together, um, but we haven't beaten that one and we have not played three. So let's check this one out. This is gonna be fun. Borderlands 3 is an action role playing first person shooter video game developed by Gearbox Software and published by 2K. I played the first two Borderlands games, and so I was really excited to receive this in my box. 
my youngest sister and I have beaten the first game. We started the second one together, but we haven't been able to finish that one. And so I'm hoping that in the future we can finish it. So maybe we can dive into this one together. Because these games are just so much fun and we really enjoy playing them. So like the other Borderlands games, you choose between one of four characters, each with their own different abilities, and they represent a particular class. So I think the first two games had a Siren character, which is what my sister Shannon, she normally plays as the Siren character. But then this game also introduces, I think, some different classes, if I'm not mistaken, from the first two games. So you have a Beastmaster class, they work with animal companions and special skills to feed on the nightmares of their enemies. You have an operative who deploys gadgets to control the battlefield through misdirection, spatial manipulation, and a sour disposition. That's usually the character type of character that I usually play as. I'm usually kind of the stealthy type ones because I usually kind of lead the way and my sister kind of stands back and snipes a lot and use powers and stuff. So I may choose this character just for us to play together in the future. But the gunner also seems really cool. She summons her Iron Bear battle suit to shield herself while unleashing a salvo of death on her enemies. Oh man, it's really hard to choose. I'm torn between the operative and the gunner. Actually, for this recording, I'm going to pick the gunner. It just looked too cool. Or Moe's the gunner. All oh, this game is so much fun. I can't wait to play it with my sister. Like, as you'll see later... I was a little disappointed with this month's box, but this game made it worth it. Oh, the mech suit is so cool. Oh my goodness for this character. Yeah, I like this. Oh, this game is so much fun. Shannon, if you're watching, I can't wait to play it with you. All right, like I said, uh, the last two cases are a little bit bigger, so I'm assuming Xbox 360. So this top game here, let's see. Oh, I'm excited. Because I haven't received any Xbox 360 games yet is... Let's creep it up. Titanfall. Okay, for Xbox 360. So I remember when this came out. Like, this, like, you know, robot type <laughs> machines that you're inside of. And it's like, you know, you go around and I think it's made by the people who make Call of Duty. So you go around shooting, obviously. Because that's what Call of Duty is all about. So Titanfall, never played it. Let's check it out. Titanfall is a multiplayer first-person shooter video game. It was developed by Respawn Entertainment, who also created Jedi Fallen Order, a game which I love, and Titanfall was published by EA. In the game, players control pilots and their mech-style titans, and they fight in six-on-six -six matches set in the war-torn outer space colonies of the frontier. I was a little disappointed to receive this game because I'm not a fan of first-person shooters, and this game forces you to play online, so I could not get actual gameplay footage of me playing the game because the room that I use to record, my internet is like in another room and my Xbox 360 does not have Wi-Fi capabilities. I don't have the Xbox 360 E or S. And so I was unable to capture myself playing it. So I had to use this IGN video instead. I don't like online games because I don't like playing with other people or like especially against other people because of cheating, you know, bullying, just all kind of stuff like that but i mean first person shooter games do seem pretty fun i can see why they are popular especially if you're pretty good at them i will probably actually enjoy the campaigns i think titanfall does have an online campaign that you can play through i probably would enjoy the campaigns of games like this but i just i like more you know story driven games and these tend to not have good stories now i've heard I've heard that later FPS games like newer ones have better stories than in the past, but I am intrigued to maybe play through the single player campaigns. Just no multiplayer for me. <laughs> the only game I really enjoyed playing multiplayer back in the day was Mass Effect 3 because I was pretty good at Mass Effect then. So, And plus with Mass Effect, you play with each other and you work together against computer opponents. So that makes it a little bit different. You're not playing against other players. But I guess playing against other players will make it more dynamic. Because it does get kind of static when you play against the computer. Because you really can figure out, you know, how the computer works a lot quicker and faster than you can. Trying to figure out playing against other people. So overall, I mean, I just feel my box was kind of meh. Um, not necessarily some games I received that I think that I would enjoy. Or at least initially I didn't think I would enjoy. That I might grow to like the more that I play. But I definitely received a few games in this box that I was looking forward to receiving, and so I'm grateful for that. 
So overall, not a bad box. I was just hoping for a little bit better, I guess. So will I try out Titanfall one day? Maybe. I can only play this game on my 360, and I don't really play games on my 360 that much anymore. I get a little sad when I reach the last game in my unboxing videos because I'm like, man, this unboxing is almost over. And I gotta wait another 30 days before I get to open up my next box. So it's kind of kind of always a sad moment. But our last game, like I said, I think it's Xbox 360 as well. All right, you ready for it? Last one. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Battlefield 3. Interesting. Seems like Video Games Monthly really wants me to be into these like kind of science fiction-y type shooters. Um, I've never really played the Battlefield series. I think I might have gotten into the first game a little bit just because some friends was playing it. So let's check out Battlefield 3 though and see what it's all about. Battlefield 3 is a first person shooter video game developed by DICE and published by EA. In the campaign mode for the game, players get to play as different people in the military like a Marine, a weapon systems officer, a tank operator, etc. Campaign takes place in various locations and follows two characters, Henry Blackburn and Dmitry Mayakovsky. I admit, I was kind of dreading this game when I first saw it in my box. I know my face probably didn't show that on my face because I'm not a huge fan of first person shooters. I know a lot of you out there are, but they're just not really my cup of tea. Now I have played some games from first person perspective that you do shoot. like. Resident Evil Village and Borderlands like I do enjoy those games but I just don't really like Battlefield and Call of Duty type games like those I guess those war first person shooter games where multiplayer is plays a huge part in it and you have to go online and play against people I guess mainly I'm not a huge online person I don't really enjoy playing with other people especially strangers because a lot of times like I think it was the first Battlefield game I played with some friends and some strangers and like people can figure out ways to like what I call cheating <laughs> and I, I guess it's not a cheat if they figure it out I mean use what you're given but they purposely try to break the game in order to be successful like this guy in the first Battlefield game I think that's what it was he was like perched somewhere where you can't really get to without glitching the game somehow and he was able to snipe people as they ran out into this open area and so of course I got shot and kill multiple times without even like firing a shot off and I know most people out there probably call me trash at these games or whatever but I just I just don't enjoy it this game was also released in 2011 so that was another reason why I was kind of dreading it kind of an older game at this point not that old games are not fun I mean I'm playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic currently on my channel so I do enjoy old games and I'm trying to build a retro collection but I was worried about the first person shooting aspects of the game since it is an older game and the gameplay i was worried about the gameplay i decided to play the single player campaign for this gameplay footage because i figured nobody really played this multiplayer anymore i mean i, I could be surprised there, there might be a few people still playing it but there are later battlefield games that i'm sure people are enjoying the multiplayer aspects of it i have to say actually diving into the game it wasn't bad i didn't hate it like i initially thought i would the game actually held up pretty good for being released in 2011. Played on normal difficulty. So, I mean, it was pretty easy to aim. So that wasn't too difficult. Seemed like it was easier from a crouch position. So even though I was dreading this, not bad. Uh, the campaign mode, I could probably get through. But I definitely don't really care to play multiplayer, obviously. And I don't even think anybody plays multiplayer anymore anyways. Will I keep this game? Yeah. Uh, will I play more of it? Maybe. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But overall, in that box, it was a pretty decent box there. I wasn't too thrilled about Battlefield 3 or Titanfall when I received those. Um, those were games I never played before, but I never really had a super interest in getting into those games. I'm not into those first-person shooter type games, really, so I was just kind of like, man, when I received them in the box. I tried not to show my disappointment <laughs> a whole lot uh, for you guys when I pull those out, but yeah, mediocre box this time. I didn't get the retro games that I really wanted. Did get a Super Famicom game again, so I got my third one now, but I really like some Genesis and Nintendo games, so I think I'm definitely going to uncheck xbox 360 and xbox one for next month because i really want some older games and they're not giving up to me
So, you're probably wondering several things. Like, Ascalon, you got a haircut. Your marquee sign talks about the devil in me. <laughs> you're wearing a different shirt. The reason for all that is, I'm a dummy. There's no other way to describe it. I totally forgot to record my outro when I was originally recording this unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the total value of the box that I received. So the total value is $37.43, so only a couple of bucks short of the $40 that I pay per month. So that's not too terrible. Like I mentioned throughout the video, I was kind of like, eh, about this box. But uh, when I finally actually played the games, I actually enjoyed some of them a lot better than I thought I would originally. But so this box wasn't too bad. I mean, it was still... Compared to the other boxes that I've received so far, this one was just kind of mediocre for me, I guess. But anyways, this was another unboxing video. You'll probably see the next one for the month of December within a week or two because I should be getting that box in pretty soon. I apologize for taking so long on this video, but because I didn't really necessarily like some of the content, I wasn't motivated to record the gameplay footage as quickly as I should have done. So I'm sorry, I apologize. And then now my video is all blah, 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 because I forgot to finish even the outro. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, hit that like button. More video games monthly unboxing videos coming from me in the near future. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the contents that I received. I mean, like I said already, I'm not a huge fan of FPSs, but you guys might enjoy those. So drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about those games that I received. If you're new around here, check out all of my content. In addition to unboxing videos, I do Let's Plays on my channel. I do gaming trailer reaction videos on my channel and also do gaming shorts. So if you like the content, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm making a push towards 900, I'm trying to get to my ultimate first goal for my channel, which is a thousand subscribers. I kind of had some other goals along the way, but I'm getting closer and closer. So I would love if you would help me out. Hit that subscribe button. I'm on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Ascalon. So follow me there for additional content. My wife and I have a YouTube channel together called Team Rixie, where we post vacation videos and taste test videos. So check out that channel. Maybe hit that subscribe button for that one as well. And our Instagram page for that channel is Team underscore Rixie. All right, I just got home from track practice. I was at school all day teaching. So, but I had to wrap this video up. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. You could have been anywhere in the world, you chose to spend some time with your boy Ascalon, and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. See you in another video. Peace.